last week in Arlington, Eric Dooley and his offense look to bounce back. Our very own Pat Timlin has more. With the Jags on a bye this week, it's a perfect time to step back and analyze that fast-paced Eric Dooley offense that you heard about all summer. And while it may be basketball on turf, it's not like the modern NBA with long shots down the field. Rather, the Jags are getting it done on the ground game, and that's being led by starting quarterback Bashawn McCray, who leads the team in rushing yards. But not far behind is J.J. Sims, who's been a workhorse both in the ground game and passing game amongst the team's leading receivers. Yet when you look to the outside, it's Chandler Whitfield up at the top as far as receptions and yards. The rest of the field far behind. McCray needs to do a better job of staying in the pocket and getting through his progressions and looking for taller, fast receivers like Cassius Allen and Cornelius Dyson, who against Texas Southern are wide open on the other side of the end zone. The Jags will have plenty of time to think about their offense as they prepare for Arkansas Pine Bluff. And Eric Dooley assured us that he's going to be taking assessment of everything that they need to do to win in the SWAC. Reporting on the bluff for Yurko Nation, Pat Timlin.